Hello, welcome back to The Good, The Bad and The Stupid. It's Tuesday the 12th of November. Hope you're well, hope you're warm. It's absolutely freezing uh, at the moment. Oh, it's been cold all day. I mean, I'm a pussy for the cold, but some people will say, well, fucking, it's not, I don't even know if it's even in the minuses, but it's cold. I think we're due, uh, we said yesterday, it might be due up to minus 10, so I don't know where it is at the minute. It's probably not even gone into zero. And I'm like that. So, um, got to get the fucking thermals out, find them in the bag in the garage or something, I think. Fingerless gloves sitting in the house, like step toe. Either that will put the heating on, isn't it? Yeah, it's been proper cold. So, uh, I ain't too uh, bothered that I didn't go to the market that I said I was going to go to yesterday. I talked myself out of it because I thought it was going to be cold. And I did the right thing, that's for sure. Um, Anyway, uh, let's get on. Enough about me and my freezing cold uh, house with no double glazing. Um, let's get on to a more serious note, like fucking the, the Trump Alliance, as they're calling it. it. Sounds like fucking something off some shit space movie, doesn't it? The Trump Alliance, which is Boris, Boris um, Farage and Trump all in their far-right little fucking gang of merry arseholes <laughs> or whatever. Um, Br uh, Farage has basically agreed to do a deal with the Tories and sold half of his MPs down the river because they are not allowed to stand in their seats now. So uh, he's... he's um, and everyone was going, oh, what have you been offered to, to ch have a change of heart because it, he's back in the Brexit deal, basically. <clears throat> Have you, have you been offered something by the Tories? And he's like, oh, they tried to offer me a peerage, but I'm not going to take it. That's bollocks. He's obviously fucking been offered. Well, they've had a conversation at the very least, so there's been offers, and maybe he's th thrown the peerage out there, but there's another something else that he's been given, which he hasn't told us. So uh, there you go. It's fixed, basically. That just tells you that the whole thing's a fucking big fix around, you know, because... It should be illegal. Surely it should just be a level playing field. Everybody goes out and everybody votes. If you're a party, you fucking campaign. If you don't, you can't just go, we ain't going to do this. Well, you can, obviously. We ain't going to do this because we want them to win. That's like fucking, you know, that's like, that's fixing it, isn't it? If that was in sport and somebody did that on a, in a football match, that's fucking match fixing. Um, so, you know, surely that's, the rules obviously don't apply. This is like in democracy, where it's a level, uh, you know, everybody gets a say and everybody's like level or whatever. And that doesn't really account, does it? It's, it's, you're allowed to do what the fuck you like. Dodgy dealings, fucking scarlet letters, backhanders, all that kind of stuff. That's exactly what's going on, isn't it? Because he's even admitted the. Uh, uh, anyway. Uh, that might just go against them anyway, because if people thought it wasn't going to the right, they fucking know now about it, don't they? Um, it's all, it's all fucking, it's all a right fucking old uh, rigmarole. What was I going to say? I was going to say something else then. Um, no, it's gone. I was going to say something else that was very, very intelligent then, but it's uh, you'll have to uh, uh, forgive me and uh, forget about it. Oh, that was it. The the Russians uh, apparently are meddling in the. <clears throat> there's, a, there's a Russian report which the Conservatives aren't releasing uh, until after the election, and they're saying there's too much uh, to go through before they can release it, or it takes time for us to be able to release it. And I think Hillary, Hillary Clinton's come out and said uh, that delay to the uh, Russian tampering report is shameful because she's obviously had to suffer the uh, Russians meddling in the American election so so it's thought but um, uh, she, she's basically pushing and the Americans are now getting involved on the democratic side that uh, that what why is this report not being released as everybody in the UK is but you know it's, it's who knows what, uh, I mean, they're trying to bury stuff first. They're probably fucking shredding it. Everything's going on like, why everything, behind closed doors, everyone's trying to dock the things and, you know, highlight, delete things and uh, the old fucking, what's it called? What's that stuff you used to get at school? Tipex. Tipexing everything out and replacing it with stuff. You know, fucking, 
cutting things out and uh, oh, it's all going on. It's a right old comedy. I tell you what, what's that film? Drop the Dead Donkey. Is there is there like a a parliamentary version of that? Because um, that's exactly what's going on. I mean, it's it's a, it's a comedy, really. You know, if you didn't. Uh, oh, I mean, another thing was it Jeremy Corbyn's been uh, asked come under pressure because why they he won't admit whether he would press the nuclear button or not. Um, I mean, it's just a fucking ridiculous question. I keep asking hypothetical questions. I saw Piers Morgan yesterday go, or today was it? Anyway, it was on a Facebook post, uh, and he was like basically pressing somebody about hypothetical. If somebody was to bomb the north of England and they were sending out another bomb and and they were threatened, would he press the nuclear button? It's like it's ridiculous. You can't just fucking. That's just okay. Just say yeah, of course he would, and then just draw a line under it. Even if you think he wouldn't. Just fucking answer his question as he would expect you to. Um, but nobody's even answered that question before. Margaret Thatcher never answered the question. Maybe she wasn't drilled about it so much, but... You know, when needs must, I'm sure somebody will just go, fucking move out of the way, Jeremy, I'll press it. But until then, you can't really just answer hypothetical questions about whether you're going to do something like that. It's just, you know, it's it's just warmongering fucking... Like when Theresa May did it, it just seemed crass, did it? Yeah, of course I would. It just seemed crass and fucking horrible that you would just blow up a load of people without a second thought. You know what I mean? It's just... You shouldn't answer that question. You shouldn't even ask it. Uh, anyway, let's uh, move on to the man who's got a... He bought an eight-inch pet from the pet shop a pet snake and it turned into well, there's a few snakes I've just talked about we're moving on to the real a real snake now that's my comedy link connection to this but anyway it's an 18 foot it's grown into an 18 foot what's it a python Burmese python um, it's not even uh, it's not poisonous apparently but I bet that fucking thing could uh, could kill you it feeds it must cost him a fortune it feeds it rabbits Calves, goats, and pigs. What the fuck? Uh, this is just in a normal residential street. There's some guy just turning up with a, a van carrying pigs and everything into the house, and, and uh, you know, um, it's, it's just mad, isn't it? It's just random. Uh, and it's, I, I just, I wouldn't even like to see that. I mean, I wouldn't want to see pigs and uh, calves and rabbits being swallowed whole by a massive snake in the in the in the kitchen or whatever i don't know has he got his own room it's big enough to i think he must have he's probably got half the house um but apparently the guy doesn't leave his kids around in the same room is it and rightly so as well because <laughs> there wouldn't be it's not funny they wouldn't be around it, it would just surely i mean it might be as House trained as you like. I mean, can you house train a snake, really, at the end of the day? You know, I'm sure he doesn't just sit and play with your slippers. He's just thinking about food only, or what the fuck am I doing here? I'm meant to be in Burma. You know, I'm not meant to be in some flat in... Where is he? Tewkesbury. Where's that? Anyway, he's meant to be in Burma, Burmese python. You, 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 once upon a time, you weren't allowed to have pets like that. I mean, no, sorry, you used to be able to have random pets like that. Like, you see videos in the 60s of people having buying them from uh, Harrods and stuff. Was it like cheetahs or uh, leopards and stuff like that? Walking them around London on, on, a, on a lead and stuff. I thought that shit was banned. How can this guy can have an 18-foot fucking Burmese python? Uh, anyway, he's probably have a visit from the RSPCA now that uh, he's been in the in the press. Um, a council facing millions in cuts has been blasted for splashing out fifty five grand on twelve snowmen. Fifty five grand, uh, fuck you now. They saw them coming, didn't they? Five foot six inch sculptors sculptures. So that's shorter than me, just about. And he's, and the twelve snowmen, what the fuck are they made out of? They must be made out of gold if it costs fifty five grand. That's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, again, that's somebody just going sitting there with a big cigar with his uh bourbon biscuits that they were claiming fourteen grand's worth the other week. It was in the paper. 
Now they've got 12 snowmen for 55 grand. I'll tell you what that is. They've got a budget to burn and they haven't spent it all. So they went, find me something expensive. We need to spend this money. Otherwise, we won't get the fucking money next year. That's what they do. And they waste it on shit just so they can keep the budget for next year. But if you're not spending it, you shouldn't fucking have it or use it, should you? Fucking crazy, man. Uh, maybe they just... That must have a percentage of it in there. Uh, the councillors must receive something, in, you know, a percentage of it to themselves. So that's why they'll get it spent. Anton Deck. Anton Deck seem to be all over the news at the minute about their family history. I mean, is it fucking that interesting? It's just... Uh, every day there's some another part to it. They're milking it, dragging it out over the... I've not even read any. I've only pulled it out just to say that but they've got DNA they're going back as far as 790 AD or something through the bloodline of their dads yeah so uh, uh, you don't need me to explain it all to you you've probably been watching it or reading it and going oh god we know about Anton Deck's great 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 ancestors glad I don't know where I'd be without knowing that information um and they're in the jungle at the minute, and we're still getting it. So, uh, Anton Deck, please um, keep your family life to. Uh, is, we'll, we'll find out. It, was it find out Danny Dyer was uh, it linked to the royals or linked to the the queen or something or other? I don't. I think they're going back as far as they can. They're trying to find somebody like that, but uh, they haven't found anybody yet. Um, Anthea Turner's new fiance sweeps the street yesterday as payback this is funny actually uh, I didn't know he, Anthea Turner is doing 240 hours of community service because uh, he, he was off his head on magic mushrooms and he, uh, uh, and he bit a policeman how the hell do you get into that situation I know people lose it a bit on the, the magic mushrooms but did, what did they do run out into the street and, uh, and fucking find a policeman to bite or something doesn't actually say, but he's out now picking up litter and doing shit chores and that around the street and that. So it's crap that is any community service. That's actually a good a good punishment because nobody wants to do it. You know, I mean, doing all the crap that's uh, uh, the crappy jobs around in the town and that fixing park benches and mowing the lawns in the park and cutting the bushes. You know, for all these little misdemeanors that you do. Um, some people prefer to just. Oh, I could just put me in the fucking cell, man. At least I can just sit and read a book or watch the telly or something. But no, community service. So uh, think about it when you're doing your little misdemeanours. Either do big crimes or uh, or don't do any. Because that's shit, that is. Isn't it biting a policeman? Random, one minute, random act. Uh, pet owners could be fined £100 for walking too many dogs at one time. I, was, I pulled this out because walking dogs is like a big business at the minute, isn't it? All I keep seeing is uh, dog walking companies. There's like fucking uh, hundreds of them about. It's a, it's a good uh, it's a good thing because people are obviously paying for it, but people are obviously are going now with like 10 or 12 dogs at a time and they're going to be fined for having too many dogs at once. That must be like a right juggling act trying to pick up all the dog shit at once. Maybe that's why they're not doing that enough. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, oh, there was a guy who was a benefit scrounger. That was hilarious. He was a benefit scrounger and he was claiming money because he couldn't walk. He had a problem with his legs. Right? And he got caught out for being a benefit scrounger. And you know what he did? He, he actually had his own business walking dogs. Right? And, a dog, and, and, the, and the company was called Walkies. So he's like... Fucking, you know, how, how far, how close do you have to be to your bloody, your crime? He's, you know, he's, he's basically saying that he's, he can't walk and he's got a dog walking company called Walkies. I mean, he was bound to get caught, wasn't he? I mean, he was like fucking, just to get in the paper, that was. The, the, the people were following him. He said, this would make a fucking brilliant story in the paper. We're going to follow this idiot and catch him out. Uh, a legendary NASA astronaut says we need to shield. A legendary NASA astronaut says we need a shield around the world 
to protect us from asteroids uh, or face extinction. Well, that's a good, there's a cheery note for you. Well, that's pretty fucking obvious anyway, isn't it? I mean, didn't we get hit by, well, there's a theory that we got hit by an asteroid which caused the uh, extinction of the dinosaurs and stuff, but I think if we got hit by an asteroid, it would, yeah, it would wipe everybody out. All this thing, it's quite crazy, isn't it? Because it's all over in a split second. You're doing all this building, building this and building that and technology moving up. All of a sudden, you could be back to square one with one fucking thud of a uh, of an asteroid. And we're just, everything's flat and you've got to start again, if you're here. Uh, but we might be gone as well. But all that thing, you got so far and all of a sudden, it's all nothing and you, people will have to start reinventing the wheel again or, or something or other fuck knows uh, or maybe the extinction rebellion will take us somewhere close to that or the extinction uh, the climate change should I say will take us somewhere close to that anyhow he's saying we should put how, how are we going to do that anyway we're going to put a, a shield around the world that's almost never going to happen is it no matter what technolo technology, that's where you should put your uh, nuclears, nuclear bombs to uh, action, like in the film. Um, is it Armageddon? Yeah, they do it on there, don't they? So I thought I'd just come up with that, but it's already been used in the film. Damn it, Bruce Willis come up with it. Uh, but yeah, but that's a good use of of those weapons. Not fucking getting somebody to agree to smash a. Uh, uh, or hypothetically agree to wipe out fucking other parts of the world ridiculous um, what's this other one here um, Madonna oh somebody's suing Madonna that's right somebody's suing Madonna because he, they had a show she had a show and she put the show back from half eight until half ten and somebody had paid 900 quid for a ticket to watch her I don't know how many tickets that was. I hope it was fucking 90. Uh, but I bet it wasn't. I bet it was two. He splurged 900 quid on tickets to her Madame X show in Miami. And uh, she changed the time till 10.30. So he's a mad fan that he's willing to spend £900 on the tickets. And then all of a sudden he's like fucking suing her for uh, putting the show too late. And meaning he couldn't get up the next morning for the school run. Fucking hell. He's like... Uh, how tired was you? He was like, you, you're still getting back at what he said. I got back at one in the morning, and uh, you know, it's, it's put me day off, then it put me out for the next day. So, uh, come on, that's just ridiculous. I mean, that's going to cost you money because that's going to get thrown out of the court. That is surely you're going to lose money. I just saw something the other day, uh, earlier that somebody was suing their some girlfriend was suing the ex wife of somebody that died the wife of somebody that died and he was she was the mistress and she said that he promised her money and uh, uh promised her that she would have money or at least have a house to live in or whatever anyway she lost the case and had to pay seventy eight thousand pound in costs so uh i mean with hindsight but she surely you must have known that that weren't gonna weren't gonna fly if he's married then you're just a fucking girlfriend that wasn't meant to be Anyway, uh, master tapes. Well, so think think once if you are uh, on the gold dig. You know, make sure you get the fucking money up front or or before anything goes pear shaped. Put it that way. Master tapes from the festival Woodstock have emerged and gone on sale for six hundred grand. Six. Oh, this has made me think because I've got some uh, master tapes in the garage, which. Uh, I don't know who they're of yet. I've got to play them and find out. So maybe I'll make... If there's anything exciting, I'll let you know. But 600 grand Woodstock Festival uh, master tapes. and uh, But you can't actually reproduce them or sell the music that's on them. They can only play them to themselves because Warner Brothers own the reproduction rights. So whoever's going to splash out 600 grand, they're just um, paying for the privilege of having the actual tape. And it's because there's only four of them in existence. But... That's a lot of money for something that's just a tape, isn't it? It just goes to show it's all sentimental value, really. I don't mind a worth anywhere, anywhere close to that. And then I won't regret going, not going to that market this morning where I've had to bloody tighten my belt today because of not making any money. Um, 
right where we're going bear grills i'll finish up on a few more here bear grills has been forced to deny he hid a ring up his backside when he proposed fuck you now he's the, the adventurer said it was just a joke when he hinted that he had popped the diamond number in his posterior as he skinny dipped with his wife shara uh, so I said this the other day, you, you make a joke yourself and people just run wild with it and you end up fucking, it ends up true to everybody else. And again, I started that joke. It's not true, but they're just, they've just heard it through um, multiple sources and it's come back as, as true. And you go, oh, I wish I never said it now. And he's probably said the same because he proposed to her in the sea naked. Uh, but he said he hadn't actually bought a ring at the time, but he told everybody that he had the ring up his backside and now uh, that is that is as good as stamped in solid uh, history, and the and the newspapers have picked it up. And sorry, Bear, we believe it now. You 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 had a ring up your ass, and uh, you proposed with that in the sea. Uh, it's good anyway. It's romantic, kind of a little bit. Um, I'm sure she uh, uh, would have said yes without the ring anyway. Well, she did because. According to him. Uh, right, voice over. Voice assistant Alexa will soon walk around homes doing chores and watching users with its own eyes, hopes Amazon head scientist Rohit Prasid. Well, he's mad, the mad scientist then, if that's the case, because he's almost creating robotic Frankensteins to walk around people's houses who are going to be spying on people. And, uh, or is it like... That one out of Rocky Four, you know that shit one out of Rocky Four that was buzz buzzing around doing all the uh, the cleaning and the maid. People have had that in mind, and that's got to go back 20, 30 years at least, maybe more. And uh, uh, that's actually coming true now. So uh, whoever wrote Rocky or Sylvester Sylvester Stallone wrote Rocky, so he might may be able to make claim to that. So that's my idea. I'll come up with that. Thirty five years ago. He's in stupid Sylvester Stallone. He's fucking. He's a, he's a, he, I say he's a good writer. He's wrote a lot of films. He always pens them all himself, doesn't he? Um, Rocky One's the best. Rocky One's the. You can't knock it. Rocky One was for but Rocky One was for the blokes. Saturday Night Fever was for the girls, and well, I suppose Grease as well. But Saturday Night Fever, they were the two at the same time, because uh, Saturday Night Fever was all about the dancing, wasn't it? And Rocky was all about the, the boxing or the struggle of, you know, just keep fighting from nothing. You can be somebody. Uh, uh, so, yeah, if you haven't seen it, you should. Uh, and watch the other ones. I want to watch, uh, watch Saturday Night Fever as well. The music in Saturday Night Fever is the bollocks, isn't it? Bee Gees. The Bee Gees were just, you know, they don't look like much, but they were fucking rocking it. They're just three blokes from the Isle of Man, I think. I think they're, they're putting up a statue to them in the Isle of Man. Uh, is it the Isle of Man? Oh, I had the piece of paper somewhere. Oh, yeah, here we go. Isle of Man, yeah. And they're having a statue to them walking. It must be that one where they're walking down the streets. It's Night Fever, is it? I don't know which song it was now. but So, yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, there's only one left now. He's a BG, not the BGs. He's a BG. I don't think he does anything now, does he? Um, lives in Miami. Right, we're going to finish up on one more thing. What are we going to finish up on? No, maybe. Oh no, two more things in. Trip typical Brits get embarrassed on at least twice. Get get embarrassed at least twice a day, including on dates while eating out and even shopping on their own. Nearly half have felt red face after tripping on a curb with a sixth mortified at finding food in their teeth hours after eating. Uh, tripping on the curb, I'm always doing that. The, the, the curb, because the, the fucking curbs are all uneven, or the, 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 the pathways, where the, where the trees, are, the roots are pushing the pathway up, and you walk past and you, and you trip over it, and you do. You're always looking back as if, oh, Trying to slag it off, but it's just a curb. It's inanimate. You can't really like, you know, you want to go and as if to tell you to piss off. <laughs> but um, anyway, you know what I mean. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else off the cuff that I've been embarrassed about recently, and there's loads, but I can't think of one. 
I'll tell you tomorrow. Last one, more than 750 kilos of cocaine uh, of 83% purity has washed up in plastic bags along the France, uh, along France's Atlantic coast. Um, the drugs have been found on beaches from the far south of the Loire. And the, uh, who's not rushing down, running down to the beach? I bet there's people fucking legging it down there. Not necessarily drug users, but the, the, there's fucking money that, isn't it? Um, but apparently the, the the police have landed uh, have put massive warning out that there's big uh, penalties for anybody found to be picking taking anything off the beach. It's funny I saw, saw somebody put something on Facebook saying uh, uh, on the on the news story and said uh, which beach is it asking for a friend. <laughs> so um, so if you happen to be in France. Any, uh, anywhere near the coast, Adriatic coast. I mean, that's fucking wide open, isn't it? That's why they have not pinpointed it. Uh, you might just get lucky with uh, with a prison sentence if you end up trying to pick it up off the beach. So uh, don't do it. Or if you do, fucking be a fast runner. Get your running shoes on and uh, um, and disappear off into the into the into the fucking uh, uh, I don't know where. Just get yourself lost quickly. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, see you again tomorrow. Hopefully I'm still alive with the freezing cold that it is and uh, uh, I'll have me sitting here with my fingerless gloves on tomorrow. I'll see you then. See you later. Bye-bye.